All right, so what I really want from you is to be like, yeah, this is how we do it. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Bass Dreams. I'm Ash. <laughs> this is how you kick off an episode. You know, What's just, be, just be pumped. You just went from uh, super excited to like, oh. <laughs> how did I have to be pumped? Just be your self. I get pumped in the moment, mate. Exactly. That's why I put a camera in your face. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you keep that up? Keep laughing. I'm scared. I'm scared, scared mate. Scared, no. I'm what scared. Are you, what are you scared of? The thing in the net? I'm scared of the thing in the net. Oh, man. It's scary, man. I just had three casts and caught a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome, man. Another intro. Yeah. You ready to party? Yeah, that's a heck of an intro. Yeah? Welcome. Welcome. You welcome. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> welcome, everybody. <laughs> Check oh. that out. That is what we come here for. I'm Oliver and I, the net man. This is Ash, the fishing magician. I brought the net boy with me today. He got one in there. Check that out for a start. I'm doing all right. We're doing all right. We uh, I ripped a few casts up into that bay, put one out. I've been saying to Oliver all week that I love catching these things burning. Like burning a bait is my favorite way to catch them. And I actually haven't had a bite doing it for a week. And I ripped the cast out the back across this top of the weed and just burnt one back and bam, <laughs> right there. Smacked the fish in the net, three casts in. How cool is that? Pretty <laughs> That's cool. That's barra fishing, man. Right there. All right, I'm about to drop this net and your fish with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm grabbing the net there. Yes, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on the burn again, baby. Coming at you. Oh, hello. A little bit better than this time. Oh! He's green. He's green. <laughs> Look at where it got the weight up. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah! Yeah! That's how they're meant to do it, brother. That's... All right. Oh, Look at that. Nice little chunk of... Nice little chunky. Barra. How's the hook placement on this one? Right in the hinge. Right in the hinge. Main hook. Main hook. Where's your trailer? Trailer's down the back here. Oh, okay. Pin down. Beautiful. It's actually, oh, that's the one you want to hook them on. I love hooking them on that main hook. As you can see, that's just. That's in there. That's in there. That's actually a head that Bassman Spinnerbaits does up for me. Hey. Shout, shout out, out to, to Glenn. The, shout out to Sue. Shout out to Glenn and Sue. <laughs> Bassman Spinnerbaits. Make sure Glenn's behaving himself. But, um. I actually got that done, wanted that design made so I could get that, that football head not only just sit on the bottom but get that huge body roll and get it to burn. So um, that one there, but you can see jammed in the hinge, look at that. So this is why I always say you gotta stay tight to Barramundi. Look at that, that's where I've had that fish hooked at any point. She got in the weed, it was buried in the weed, I had to go in, get her out. If you let any slack line on that thing, it's gone. So you know, running a faster ratio reel, catch up to that fish if it comes to you. And uh, oh, not a huge fish by any means. But we got him. But that's a beautiful barramundi right there. So we'll uh, we'll get a couple of quick stills. I'll put her in the net first and give her a quick swim. Um, same with all species. Always try and keep them in the, in the water as long as you can. Um, get your photo, put them in the water, make sure they can breathe. You know, that's the main thing. So... You know, we hear a lot of guys keeping these fish out of the water a long time. Um, yeah, it might be a fish of a lifetime, but remember someone else wants to catch that thing too, so. That's right. Take a breather. Take a breather. Main thing I like to do with barra is just try and keep them upright. You know, so we don't sort of let them lie over too much. You know, try and keep them upright. Keep that water flowing through them. You know, even if you have to on a big fish, We'll actually put the electric nose and forward and just a real slow speed just to keep that water flowing through the gills while they're in the net. Um, good idea to really, really take care of them. 
these fish are actually all stocked fish. So there's stocked in uh, empowerment programs that the money and funding goes into putting these guys in at, you know, 15 centimetres long. It used to be fingerlings, but the development of putting larger fish in, it means the survival rate's a lot better. So even though you might not get the numbers, but you get beautiful fish to, to come into the dam. So they grow pretty quick. So, but just remember, you know, you might catch a metre 20 today and you take care of it, release it properly, release it quickly. And uh, someone could go and catch that in a, you know, a week's time, a couple of months time, years time. And, and that's a PB fish of a lifetime for them as well. So at the end of the day, we're all fishermen trying to do the same thing. We want to catch big fish, big barra dreams, and uh, just take care of your fish. That's what's up. Good advice. So she's she, lively as. Yeah, she looks good. Yep. So here in ours, the, uh, they say things as, and they just stop right there. <laughs> so that thing is lively as. Lively as. And I'm sitting here like, lively as what? <laughs> <laughs> just lively as. Yeah, as like, what? What yeah, do you mean? Yeah, yeah. That's lively a thing. as. A frog in a sock. There you go. <laughs> That's pretty lively. <laughs> so I just caught this beautiful barramundi. Check that thing out. It's not a big fish by any means. It's in the 70s. Um, I'm just using a Miller rods there. Swim Freak power. Perfect for burning a bait. I'm using a fast ratio reel. Um, and she is a beautiful fish. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool. Ripping over some grass. There's like shallow grass there. And I'm just burning the bait over the top of the grass. So... That's a beautiful fish, barramundi. I'm gonna let it go. Oh, she goes. Nice strong kick. Woohoo! My man is on fire. Yeah. Yes. That's actually the next. I've had three casts with that bait burning. I'm super excited. I'm. I'm pumped. We've got a nice little window going right We've now. We've got a little bit of window. We've got a breeze pushing in there. And uh, I'm very excited, mate. <laughs> I'm pumped. I'm wound up. You think we could do this again? <laughs> I believe in this man. All right. Here we go. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see that. That fish I just caught was off the top of the weed. We are sitting just out off the top of the weed. We're in eight foot of water check them shadows out <laughs> they are just monsters so they're scroll they're running through so we're sitting just out off the edge of a creek bed pushes up onto a flat weed and we're just burning plastics out over the top of it nothing spectacular we're not doing anything super fancy fishing a bait burning it back and those fish are pushing up out onto the flat and uh it's go time so i'm gonna get my lure back in the water what do you got going on? Check this out. This is a big barrel up here in the shallow weed. And he's got his back out. I'm gonna try and rip a frog over him. <sighs> that couldn't have been any better. I was waiting for that thing to turn and explode on. Oh, I thought it was going to, man. That was honestly couldn't have been any better. Tell me about that kind of scenario. Does it happen a lot? Oh, uh, yeah. In these big matted weed beds, it's like the perfect scenario. Like, you'll see them getting their backs out, their tail, and they're up there feeding. It's, um, it's pretty hard to believe that, you know, a three four foot fish will get up in that shallow weed sometimes they're up in only a foot foot and a half of water and uh getting up in there chasing all the bait and everything out and there's channels and stuff in there and yeah no it's pretty common very common and especially on a lot of our bigger lakes you know you'll see them um a lot more you'll look across a flat and think it's lily pads and they're, <laughs> they're actually big barra tails just blowing in the breeze or you know nose down so i'll just go around this little island here and see if we can chip away at one. I can see another one tailing down the back there, so I'm gonna make another cast. This is fun. A little riveting. Okay, you ready for the bike? Because I'm about to turn the camera off. Yeah, turn it off. You're off. 